out about it. And I worked in a few companies, I worked, seen analysis around various geographies beyond India. I think this is, this is it. India is one of the most optimistic countries in the world. Basis for that, we are one of the fastest growing economies. All indicators are strong. You look at the stronger indicators, typically, you know, the, the, the lot in Asia Pacific is usually the most growing. And even among them, we are now ahead of our lovely neighbor, China, and uh, finally expecting to beat them. And this is after a very long time. And mind you, China has seen the 9s and the 10% and even beyond for a very, very long time. So finally, to be able to beat this is, is good. Uh, projections from international organizations also are present. And the underlying reasons is because the GDP growth is in fact, stock market is bullish, and inflation, I mean, a lot of you may have seen, a few may not have seen, times when I was young, when inflation used to be a crazy number. Now, all of this is looking a lot more under control. After a long time, India can actually say that fiscal deficit is in the 3%, approximately three, three and a half, something we've not been able to say for decades. While you might argue that, you know, 3.5 or 3.3 say open. But remember, we've been used to the sixes and the fives and beyond 6% as well. Maybe our human memory is short, and we kind of forget that. But I think this is a very strong indicator at this point. Funds are cheap, and uh, they're threatening to remain cheap for a longer time. Not just in India, but globally as well. Because we are sensing that if the US was to reduce its corporate tax, which is what the Republicans are saying, they want some good uh, feel to it, then there will be a lot more money coming in. <coughs> and usually, uh, last year hasn't been so much a story about international money, but local money. But having said that, both of these are looking a lot better. The balance sheet is, is, is stronger, which I just talked about. And ultimately, it's the fundamentals of the economy that make a difference. Not mentioned here are the natural demographic benefit that India has, given that the average age of the Indian is an optimist under 28. Still, that will make a difference. It will continue to make a difference. That's a big, big difference versus somebody like China. But while those are the fundamentals, what analysts will quote, when you, when you look at it from a marketing perspective, when you look at what is happening, in the world around you. How is the customer thinking? Is, is the consumer thinking the same way that the customer or the consumer was thinking, let's say, five years back, 10 years back, 15 years back? No longer is it the same customer. No longer is the customer one have, have the same kind of needs. I never used to keep a budget for changing a device called a mobile once every year. I was never expecting that it would be electronics like Alexa, which would come and talk to me. And so on and so forth. Today I'm willing to pay for extra services on LinkedIn, which I never thought I would. I thought like Google, everything would be free. Lots of things are changing. From our customer segment, therefore, the new customer segment that is emerging in India, which has been there in the Western world for a long time, is that we're seeing a world of life maximizers. 
Again, we talked about it earlier in the same room. But I just want to stress this point. We did a survey, we, we tried to figure out how is the customer thinking? Are we still thinking like the life insurance manufacturers like us? We used to say a child's product is going to sell. There's going to be a need analysis done on life stage. Will a 35 year old think, obviously, will think different from a 45 year old? And a 25 year old will be very, very different. No longer is that psychographics so relevant. It is important. The age is an important factor. But somewhere, people are converging in the way they're thinking now. They're converging in a different way. They're saying that, what's in it for me? Me as a not, me as a customer. What's in it for me? They want to maximize what they see in front of them. They want to maximize, they want to live better. They're looking for a lot more value out of what they have available and they have less time available. You want maximum out of that. So it's giving a it's giving a it's giving birth to life maximizers as a segment. And we acknowledged this about five, six months back, started doing some research, and this is what we found. There's a generation that wants to build an identity for themselves. They, they're not thinking of following the default line that this is when I have to say 45 I am retirement planning for the retirement planning. Maybe a guy is thinking of at 30, I today talk to my own team. Some of them have a question that can I retire by 45? Of what? I don't know that we've, we've talked about it, but now people are actually thinking about it. They want to have meaningful goals. Today somebody wants to, this guy sitting right here, wants to do all the marathons in the world, my head of marketing, right? So the Berlin Marathon and the New York Marathon and so on and so forth. So and no longer are we saying we are Bombay and Right? It's a, that's the identity. So it's very different. It's very different. This is a generation that is receptive. If this clicks, I'll tell you to watch. They're receptive to, this is like a Virat Kohli world. This is the world that's saying that I want to do everything on my front. It's not something like Tony is, of course, an icon. But this is a Virat Kohli world. It's saying that I want to, I'm going to be aggressive for anything. If I've got money lying somewhere, I want that damn thing to work for me. It's not just me who will be working. Then they're thinking in a very different fashion than what we are usually you know, expecting them to. There was a time when People will lock up their money and forget about it. But now they're asking questions. What did it do? Am I getting more value out of this? Why should I? And why should I not? Those questions were not asked. And like I said, they've got unique life goals. And I'll just not belabor too much, but I'll come to the life goals. I talked about the life stage based goals, but they're now very different. They're no longer life stage based. Somebody who's, uh, I forget the name of the person, but there's a 95 year old Sardar who actually ran the mountain man. For their sake. Imagine 95 year old, you're running a marathon. I can't run it. <laughs> Whatever my age, I'm not going to tell you my age. So it's a very different word, right? So when we did our analysis, it's no longer about child planning, pension planning. People are saying, I want to plan my experience. I want to plan holiday. Can I have a financial product that can help me plan for a large holiday five years hence? 
Can I do a world tour 10 years later? And they say, look, this year I am going to take a break like that. Some people are, you know, they work hard enough to say, look, I'm taking a year off, and now I'm going to be just having fun, and then maybe I'll get back. I have a friend, uh, Sridhar, who actually has been to about 90 countries. It's crazy. He's on my Facebook. You can see it. Uh, passions. This is of somebody trying, trying to live the life of being a chef or anything. You know, it could be anything. It's a lot different. The same passion will not hold. The boring passion that we're talking about. But people are talking of unique experiences there as well. People are talking of meaningful things they want to do. Just a normal job is not good enough. Maybe I'll do it today to earn so that I can then settle my dream of having a startup and be my own boss. The world is changing. Luxuries. You want your brands to work for you. Everything you wear should come. You want to make a statement. This is changing. Events. Technology. Now, technology is a big. I said. I talk about technology now. Technology could mean any gadget. It could mean a lot of things. People are talking of connected homes with Alexa. You talk to Alexa, and Alexa can possibly open your curtains. Or Alexa could actually lighten your uh, room in the way you want. Or Alexa could maybe, so I have an Alexa at home, not connected yet, but I do want it. It is very different, guys. And this is when we, we saw this, we said we cannot have the same template on life goals. We're going to have a different thing. We're going to have a different set of products. You're going to have thrown in a lot of things. People don't want to pay for some stuff. People want boosters in their products. If I'm going to be staying long enough, what is in it for me? I'm giving you, giving you my money for five years. I think I'm giving you my money for seven days. What am I going to get in return? So all these questions are getting asked. So before I talk about what, we will just unveil the new product we're launching. The product is called <coughs> Bol Ashar. Bajaj Alliance by Bol Ashar. We've got something electronic missing somewhere. Okay. So I know the Bajaj Alliance guys are clapping. <laughs> Others are not. That's okay. What you will realize is this is a product which is <coughs> trying to do something different and it's an output of what we <coughs> saw people want to do. So here what we're saying is we were saying is very simple. You plan a goal with us, you plan a five year goal, you plan a seven, ten year goal. We'll charge you one of the least charges. A fund management charges capped at 1.35%. Once you hit the goal, you hit your term, you will actually return all the mortality charges that were taken, covering your well-being. Because just because you're not there, your goal, which is available for your family as well, has got to be covered. We return this money back to you. This ROMC has never been done, so let me just take, take you through the features. So, the whole concept now that I think is, uh, is going to happen in this sector. We've been seeing this discussion on mutual funds, your lips. We've been saying people, some people saying, mm, invest in mutual funds, but term. Um, Maybe no, because it does something else to you. 
I expect a new set of ULIPs to emerge in the market. Since 2013, lots has already happened. I want to call this now the age of the new age ULIPs. And this is our first in that. Now, what does new age ULIP does for the life maximizer? 